This episode of the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast is brought to you by PMTLifestyle.com, authentic Muay Thai lifestyle by Kutu. Definitely go check out the website at PMTLifestyle.com for some awesome lifestyle merchandise that's for those of you out there either involved in Muay Thai, looking at getting involved in Muay Thai, and embrace a healthier lifestyle to live the life of Nak Muay. Go check it out. So what a cop, this is Crew Jonathan over at Pu'u Muay Thai. It is August 23rd, 2021. I hope everybody's having a fantastic week out there. Just wanted to give you guys some updates. I know it's been a little while since we've plugged in some updates here on the podcast. Rest assured, we are working tirelessly and endlessly as a team to provide the best experience at Putu Muay Thai. So with that said, you may or may not have heard that we had our grand opening. Actually, we didn't have a grand opening yet officially, but we have opened Putu Muay Thai Santa Barbara at 1107 State Street in Santa Barbara, California. We got Chief Instructor Coach Ryan Ughawk at the helm there. It is amazing. I've been spending a lot of time with the students up there, uh, seeing what Coach Ryan's doing and uh, seeing that community grow and blossom has been amazing. And to our Ventura students, too, uh, you may or may not have heard, but yours truly have been on the mat lately. Uh, I am dedicated to teaching the 9 a.m.s on Tuesday and Thursday, and I'll be in sometimes on, on Monday evening as well, just to poke my head in and uh, maybe be on the mats and train a little bit. We did have a lot of questions from our students about whether they would be able to train at both academies, and that's something that we're still working on, like logistically, just to being fully transparent is right now we're kind of understaffed in regards to like our uh, front end in Santa Barbara. Uh, It's been a little bit difficult with all the shutdowns and stuff like that, getting, um, being able to build everything up to a point where we can uh, hire in uh, a full-time team to be able to help out with that. Cause when you train between both academies, there has to be some kind of communication between both. And that does require some back end work. Uh, that's pretty extensive. We're not really sure how that's going to work yet, but we are working on it. So we do have some ideas. Uh, I know I've said this before, but um, rest assured, we've been getting everything set up so that way we can make that as seamless as possible. I've been talking with Coach Ryan about doing some sort of a trial period where if you're training in Ventura, you could train in Santa Barbara. If you're training in Santa Barbara, you could train in Ventura, uh, where you pay like a, a, depending on your program, a small... um, additional tuition amount to the academy that you're training at, uh, your primary location, uh, and then being able to see how it works and basically be able to work out any kinks until we make it uh, fully implemented, or maybe we make it fully implemented during that time. So definitely stay tuned on that. In the most recent news, we have Coach Connor Olanik, who's been at the helm at Putu Muay Thai and Ventura as of late. He just stepped into the ring after... Uh, a couple year layoff from the last time he competed. It's his first time competing under the Putu Muay Thai banner. Was super stoked to see him go out there and go perform at IFS show number 52. So me and Coach Ryan were out there to go support, work the corner. He did great, fought a hard three rounds of full rules Muay Thai action against an active competitor from our friend's gym uh, based out of Oregon, Sit Tong Sai. So congratulations to them. They did get the win on that. Connor did great. Uh, it's exactly what we were looking for in regards to uh, being able to step into his next uh, match. So he is coming up in September. That's going to be in Burbank for World Championship Kickboxing, WCK Muay Thai, with Dennis Warner as the promoter. Keep your eyes out on tickets for that, too. He's going to be fighting against a strong opponent from uh, Rising Suns Thai Boxing. That is Nathan Corbett's gym that he's teaching out of, I believe it's uh, somewhere in Orange County. So definitely keep your eye out for that. If you guys don't know who Nathan Corbett is, he's done a couple seminars at our gym. So he's working under uh, an American fighter and instructor, uh, Bryce Krause, in Orange County. He's partnered up with him in regards to teaching at his academy and being able to help build up some uh, awesome fighters as well. Uh, They were actually competing as well at IFS 52. So it was cool to be able to catch up with them and kind of just say, like, hey, good luck uh, next month. 
with that said, we do have a lot of different things coming down the pipes right now too. But before we get into that, uh, just some background on IFS 52. So IFS, the International Fight Showdown hosted by Master Sean Shalati, was at, I think it was the Grand Theater in Anaheim, it used to be M3 Live. Uh, but uh, just some background on, on Sean Shalati. Uh, his first show he had, I want to say it was in 2009, is at the Anaheim Convention Center. And it was before it was International Fight Showdown. Uh, he partnered up with these uh, two twin Thai brothers. And he actually had Tetsuya Yamato, uh, Ken Sak, yes, the infamous Ken Sak uh, from the Golden Era. They both fought on that. It was a really cool show. It was a pro-am show. I think uh, Roxy Richardson fought on it as well. Uh, from Santa Monica also. I think she's the first female pro Muay Thai fighter out of the U.S. So I think that was her pro debut, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. Roxy, if I, if I butcher that, reach out. Don't kick me. Uh, and then he actually stepped into making his own promotion. He separated from the Twins, I believe, and he started doing the International Fight Showdown. He hosted the first few, I think like five events were at Knott's Berry Farm, or maybe even more. And um, a friend, Roy Corona, was was on that first one. I think I fought on the second one. Um, and then my friend, Frank Grineo, he fought on the third one. So uh, anyways, a good time. Snoopy would be there and everything, too. Great event. And just overall, stoked to see him hit that show number 52. I think his next event is going to be in November, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll definitely be submitting some people for that as well. Coming up here shortly... We will have some new videos coming out from Naparat Kit Kemtorn, aka Lord of the Knee to the Chest. We're just finishing up some final edits for this tutorial series to be released on our YouTube and on Instagram. Be sure to go follow us. Stay up to date at Pu'u Muay Thai on Instagram. Uh, you can find us Pu'u Muay Thai on YouTube. We're the only 24-7 live, uh, you heard it live, Muay Thai channel that's on YouTube. All right, or actually on the internet. I think we're the only 24 seven live Muay Thai streaming service. So definitely go check that out guys. Uh, we're gonna be plugging in some new stuff with Naparat coming in on there too. Uh, coming straight out of Bangkok, Thailand. For those that don't know who Naparat is, um, it, based upon the last podcast you did with Now You Can Speak Thailand, Naparat is in his peak and during this other person's peak, they, they fought multiple times. I think it was a total of five times. Not that fought Sanchez, I think, five times. And he won the first three in a row. So that's something pretty big. He got, and the person he beat is Sanchai, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. So if you don't know who Sanchai is, hit pause right now. Go search it. S-A-E-N-C-H-A-I. Just type in Sanchai Muay Thai Fights. All right? And uh, have fun. <laughs> If you don't know who Sancha is, you're going to be in for a surprise. Also, September 18th, Pu'u Muay Thai Santa Barbara is going to be hosting Miss Angela Cheng. She's fresh off a six-year stint fighting professionally in Thailand. She's originally from New York, East Coast. I believe New York, if I'm not mistaken, in Queens. She's been a sponsored fighter at Sitsong Pinong uh, in Bangkok, that's a very famous gym. They have Kim Sitsong Pinong. They've had, I mean, I I could go on and on, but that's one of the biggest names that have come out of there internationally. Also, she was most recently a sponsored fighter out of PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. So that's Sanchai's gym. Uh, and as a woman being sponsored out of there and, and fighting out of there, that's a pretty, pretty big deal. Uh, especially in like a male dominated sport and in Thailand, that's, that's solid. So she actually uh, is co-sponsored by my friend, uh, friends over at Muay Thai Gram with Matt Lucas. Shout out to Matt Lucas. If you guys haven't listened to our podcast episode uh, earlier in the days, you definitely go back and, and check that out on the podcast feed. Super cool dude. He's actually going to be visiting out here. He's actually here in the U.S. now. And I hope that he's able to come visit the academy and stuff too. So the reason we're hosting the seminar at Pu Muay Thai Santa Barbara is that we have more mat space. This allows us to make the seminar more affordable for everybody. Uh, also, we opted to give all the money to Miss Angela Cheng for a, you know help rebuild some of her funds, recoup a little bit, because Thailand hasn't been having a lot of fights. They're on shutdown again uh, over there in Thailand due to 
the current government regulations and shutdowns due to COVID. With that, uh, we want to help support her as she's getting back here for a few months. And uh, it, it could be massively beneficial for every single student at all levels to come check this seminar out. Just to give you a frame of reference, this seminar would normally be around 100 to $120. But since we're opting to give all the money to Angela, she gave us a really low, low rate, asking for only $45 per person. You can sign up for that over at pmtlifestyle.com. And you don't have to be a student of Pu'u Muay Thai to be able to attend that. But if you're not a student, you will definitely have to fill out a waiver, okay? Uh, with that said, we're very excited to have Miss Chang out. She's going to be out, I believe, from the 14th or 15th of September. Uh, she doesn't have a flight out of Santa Barbara yet. Uh, she needs to fly in direct in. She's going to be available for one-on-one -on -one private lessons in both the Ventura and Santa Barbara Academy. If you're interested, just reach out to us. Uh, you can DM us on Instagram. You can call either of our academies. Inventor or Santa Barbara, leave a message if no one picks up to say you're interested in training with Angela Chang and we'll reach out. All right? But she's also going to be teaching uh, two guest classes for us uh, one in Ventura and one in Santa Barbara for our Intermediate Advanced group. So, we're really looking forward to having her out to share a little bit of her knowledge. So, even if you can't make the seminar, you'll still get a little sneak peek of what it is that she has to offer. All right? And just a shout out to Moy Tegram and Angela Chang. Uh, for doing what you guys do to help grow the sport. It's something that me and I know a lot of our students appreciate too. So keep doing what you're doing. In regards to other upcoming fight events, there is a couple PKBs that are going to be coming up that our students are going to be competing at. These are like, I would say, ways for amateur athletes to stay active or get their feet wet in amateur style competitions. There are no knockout rules. Uh, they take place on a mat. It's overall a good experience. We've talked about them before. Uh, I think it's a good way to keep everybody active and, and sharp. Um, I've seen a lot of success for people who got experience in these. They do count as fights for the tournaments, though, just a heads up for anybody out there listening to this that's considering them. Uh, we have a couple PKBs, one in Bakersfield. I know there's another one coming up in San Diego. Uh, and then there's the fight events coming up. There's big Troy promotions, uh, I believe, in October. It's also the Burbank Marriott, same place that Connor's going to be fighting at, just a different promoter. And I think we have a student from Santa Barbara who's, who's uh, submitted for that as well. We'll keep you guys updated on details as those come in. Also, October 8th at Commerce Casino, Line Fight Muay Thai Promotions returns back to California. Again, since the pandemic, they haven't been back in California. Super excited to see them back in person at Commerce Casino. It's a great venue. I fought there myself before multiple times. I've worked promotions there corner people there, MMA, Muay Thai, it's always a great setup. Uh, I can imagine that line fight's even going to make it that much better. So definitely uh, make sure to go in to and support. Our friend Raul Navarrete is going to be fighting uh, against Wilson Ha from Sit Yeltong. So super excited to see Raul get back out there after a three-year layoff um, and basically come back and be able to go out there and go do his thing. Somebody's got a lot of talent from the local area, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. Uh, also, some other notable shout-out to my friend Natalie Killface Morgan. Natalie's going to be fighting on there, too. Awesome woman fighter. Definitely go check her out as well. Uh, she's on Instagram at, I think it's Natalie Killface. <laughs> Funny story how she has that. You can go you can go research that on your own. She's she shared that story many times. Maybe I'll have her on here one day. But... Um, I am looking forward to seeing Lion Fight. I know they, they have a ton of other fights on there. They're going to be really badass. Can't wait to see them. Also today, we just dropped a brand new Eat Sleep Teep t-shirt design that's available at pmtlifestyle.com. Go check it out. It's tricolor. Uh, I just ordered some for myself. We'll have a few limited selection available in-house at the academies in Ventura and Santa Barbara. Uh, they say Putin Muay Thai Ventura, Putin Muay Thai Santa Barbara, respectively, on them. So if you guys want to represent your academy, definitely go grab those. They're only 20 bucks uh, for, like, for most of the sizes. Uh, if you want to make a crop top tee for the women out there, I highly recommend just cutting it because if I, if I make crop tops, they're going to be expensive just because making crop tops is not cheap. So uh, go check those out, guys. It's live now at pmtlifestyle.com. Uh, we do have some more stuff coming up as we get into September. 
looking forward to seeing uh, how that comes together. We just had a new schedule change at the Ventura Academy. And man, I am so stoked to see this training block happen. It's something that we've been trying to get going since pre-COVID. We were actually testing out on our Saturdays and then we were gonna roll it out on the rest of the week. But then, you know, March 18th hit and all the shutdowns uh, took place and then we had limited capacities. It just didn't make sense to have this robust training block schedule. Uh, so I'll go through it here real quick. So on Monday and Wednesday, we have our 4.30 p.m. Junior Jaguars followed by our 5 p.m. kids program that's ages 7 to 12. Followed up right at 5.45 is our uh, teen and adult bag class. So if you're looking for a high intensity workout, just smashing, you know, sometimes, you know, working on the pads, focusing more on technique, and that bag class, that's where you come in and smash, man. That's where you come in and get a workout, get your aggression out in the bag, and not having to worry about, you know, accidentally hurting somebody. You know, that can happen on pads if you're uh, working with somebody maybe is a little bit newer, somebody you're not used to working with. So definitely go check out that bag class. It's going to be, it's solid. Um, I've, I taught a few of them last week. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the bag class continues to grow. Uh, we also have at 6.30 p.m. our adult and teen fundamentals. So that's going to be on the pads, like our, our fundamentals curriculum. We'll go straight into 715 Intermediate Advance. It's the orange shirt and above or an invitation by an instructor filled in with the front desk. That encompasses our intermediate advanced curriculum and then goes straight into our 8 p.m. adult and teen sparring. All right, you'll notice that most of these are 45 minute classes except for the Junior Jaguars. What this does is it allows us to have more class availability for you, our students, as well as being able to allow you to train. You know, you can end up training for you know, two and a half hours if you want to. Or you can come in and train for 45 minutes or an hour and a half. So it creates a really awesome uh, training structure. We also have, I'll go into our, our Tuesday, Thursday schedule here too. We have a 9 a.m. adult all levels class that remains the same. Then we go into our 4.15 p.m. kids program. And then we have our new, uh, well, they're not new, our return of our kids' intermediate program at 5 p.m. That's a drilling and sparring class. It's something we've been looking forward to being able to bring back. It's orange shirt and above or an invitation by an instructor. Um, and with all the required equipment that's necessary, be sure to reach out to the front desk if you're interested in having your child attend that class. Next, we go into our 5.45 p.m. Adult Intermediate Advance. That's orange shirt and above or invitation. Again, need all the required equipment, but I'm super excited about this because I had a ton of requests before about having an earlier intermediate advanced time slot for our students. So like if you're coming in Monday, Wednesday, and you're hitting the intermediate advanced class or the, the fundamentals, and then you get an intermediate advanced program, hey, just switch your days over Tuesday, Thursday, and it's gonna be the same time. Makes it a little bit easier. Then we go straight into our adult and teens uh, sparring and drilling class. That's going to be at 6.30 p.m. That's green shirt and above only. And then we have our 7.15 p.m. adult and teens bag class, so a little bit later on the bag class. And then we have the adult and teens fundamentals afterwards. So what's really cool about that training block is our intermediate students come in a little bit earlier. Uh, you guys can get a solid hour and a half uh, or two hours of training. Hey, sorry if there's a little bit of background noise too. Our, our neighbors here in Santa Barbara are moving and they got a loud dumpster back there. Just If you guys hear any background noise, that's what that is. Um, so our adult and teens bag class comes right after the teen, adult and teens sparring and drilling. What's really cool about that is after you're done sparring, man, that's a good time to start working on technique and speed, man. When you're tired, that's the time to work on that stuff. So definitely make sure to, to block up that training. You know, Or if you just come to sparring and you stay for bag class, it's great. And then it goes into our uh, adult and teens fundamentals. So it's a good time to work more on those basics because you get basics wins every single time. So it's a good time to come into the fundamentals with some of the newer students uh, and be able to get that training in. All right, so that, that, again, that's a solid like, three-hour training block right there too. All right, and then Saturday we have our 9.30 a.m. Junior Jaguars followed up by 10 a.m. Adult and Teens Bag Class, 10.45 a.m. Adult and Teens uh, all, Adult All Levels Class on pads, and then we have our 11.30 a.m. adult and teen sparring and drilling. That's a green shirt and above or an invite to the class. So super excited. We have sparring every day now, if, if you didn't notice, uh, and, and drilling every single day. 
And then we have our kids program at 12, 15 p.m. on Saturday. We're looking forward to expanding that kids Saturday training block at some point as well. With these all new training times, you know, some things to keep in mind for like the uh, teen and adult drilling and sparring, there's, there's some requirements for it. You need to have, uh, you know, for the adults, shin pads, headgear, mouthpiece, groin protector for men, uh, and sparring style gloves. Our, our starter gloves are not sufficient for that. Those are specifically for like fundamentals uh, curriculum because with this you are going to be making a little bit more contact. You want to have a glove that's safe and isn't going to cause abrasions or cuts, accidental scratches on your partners. All right. Uh, also, has a, more make sure it has enough padding and making sure that like the cloth shin guards you get when you first start with us, you know, those are more for like holding pads and, and light contact drills. Or if you have an injury, you're nursing your, your foot, your shin, it's got a boo-boo on it, and you'd protect it, that's what you're gonna do. All right, you use that cloth shin guard. Uh, you're gonna need more high density sparring gear, uh, which we can get you set up with as well. We have some uh, awesome hookup through our friends over at Combat Corner. So if you guys are interested in that too, don't hesitate to reach out on that as well. Uh, you, we get very competitive prices. It, we're actually be able to beat their normal retail prices that they have listed on their website, or we'll be able to match them. Uh, anyways, uh, for the kids, uh, you wanna make sure that our kids, they have all their sparring gear, they have a chest guard, they have the head gear, mouthpiece, the shin guards, and their sparring gloves. Something that's very important because with the way kids' training is going now in regards to building towards the Olympics, they're standardizing the way that the kids are trained across the country. So it's not just us that requires this kind of stuff. It's a standard that other Muay Thai academies are now implementing and following our lead and other academies that have implemented this protocol's lead. So we have helped set the industry standard in regards to youth development and building up a youth Muay Thai program that is both safe, fun, and effective for the kids. All right, and helping build the future of Muay Thai in the United States. And you never know, maybe your child's gonna be an Olympic gold medalist one day. That'd be pretty awesome, right? That goes into the Olympics. As of, uh, I think three weeks ago now, uh, the International Olympic Committee gave an official recognition of Muay Thai as being able to be an Olympic sport. The goal is still 2028. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done, but you know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of work on this right now. And the reality is this vision of the Olympics and Muay Thai being on that grand stage is something that is the goal of Pu'u Muay Thai. So if you didn't know, I'll mention it again, is every quarter, if we have profits for the academy, we donate a portion of those profits to Team USA. Team USA, what they do is they help grow Muay Thai from a grassroots level within the United States, whether it be helping provide for travel expenses for, for the kids that can't make it to these competitions that are nationally ranked, to be able to make it to the world championships, to be able to get the equipment they need, to be able to get the training they need, and also to help support the promoters who are basically losing money and people who are helping grow the sport through media uh, and through a lot of volunteerism and stuff as well. So it's a super, super grassroots movement. A lot of people, they think Muay Thai is this big, elaborate machine, but it's really not there. So it, it starts with you listening to this podcast and spreading the word about what Muay Thai is and that, hey, it's going to be in the Olympics. So make sure to mention that, guys. Go do your research. Check it out. Uh, it's going to be done through the International Federation of Muay Thai Associations, IFMA for short, IFMA. Uh, and they're going to be utilizing uh, different sanctioning bodies in each, each country. The one that we have here in the United States is the United States Muay Thai Federation. They help oversee Team USA or USA Muay Thai uh, through the U.S. Olympic Committee, United States Olympic Committee. Super exciting opportunity to see the sport grow. And that kind of builds into why we're tra creating these protocols for people and to be able to have a safe and efficient way for everybody to be able to enjoy Muay Thai on a grand scale. So it's not just for the competitors. It's for people, enthusiasts. <clears throat> it's for people who are trained for fun, fitness, self-defense. That way you have an education of Muay Thai, regardless, absolutely regardless of what your goal is through Muay Thai. All right, so we're very excited about that. And all our coaches here at Putu Muay Thai are very much on board with this. And we're really looking at pushing the sport to grow. All right. But with that said, everybody, have a great day. Have a great week. It's so great to be able to catch up on here. And I hope you have an awesome week. Make sure to get your training in. 
If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one private lessons, all our coaches are available for one-on-ones. I'm inc included in that as well. Uh, we have student discounts, like enrolled students at Pu'u Muay Thai. If you're an enrolled student, we have uh, price discounts for our enrolled students. If you're a non-student, we can still train you as well. Just reach out to us. Give us a call at either academy. All right. Thank you so much. So what do you cop? All right. That's it today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are listening on iTunes, please go leave a review. It means the world to me if you enjoy the content, if you like hearing about all the stuff that has to do with Muay Thai and what we're doing. Also, uh, there's another way to support us. If you guys visit our Patreon link, it's in the show notes. Uh, also on our YouTube, if you go to pmplifestyle.com, there's a Patreon link up at the top. Uh, you can support us for as little as $5 a month. Uh, to get some behind the scenes footage, things of that nature, to see what we're doing behind the scenes for Pretty Muay Thai, what we're trying to get going. Uh, also, you can get some early access clips. You can also get t shirts, merchandise, and a few other things as perks of being a patron. Uh, again, go check that out. It's at pmtlifestyle.com. <laughs>